Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon. We have Ascendant 22 Scorpio, Varuma Mars, Mars hour. This is Saturn day, and the moon is applying to conjunct Ketu in Libra in the 12th house. And I want to do a special episode. This is an episode where I give do something I haven't done in a while in a very different way. And this is where I give you energy reading, collective energy reading. And I want to talk about how I do this now. So basically, I ran into something that happened to me. And I understood that it has to do with an outer planet. And so for the way to deal with that is to share the knowledge with other people for my collective readings. So all of us, the collective readings are going to benefit. So instead of uh, um, freezing, we're going to be defreezing. Instead of tripping over, we are going to be uh, uh, in vacation or maybe traveling, yes? Uh, but enjoying our time. Yes, not tripping over, but enjoying our time. Uh, or journeying, enjoying our time, and enjoying our journey. Yes, instead of um, uh, uh, attempts to assassinate us, yes, we're going to be thriving and solving murder cases. We're going to take this energy and going to alchemize this. Uh, alchemize this. Um, yes, um, uh, yes, instead of um, slipping, okay, instead of slipping, we're going to be creative. Or whistleblowing. Okay? And so, what the energy, the collective energy, has to do with the feet. Somebody is trying to feet and the spine. And I know exactly why it shows up for me. Right now, Saturn is in Pisces. And um, uh, it's Mars hour. And has to do with... Pisces, Mars, Mars and Jupiter, Jupiter, Mars, all these kind of frequencies and energies, okay? So you, you or another significant person or person in your life or person you don't know that tries to do this or that's, that is done to them, uh, then they could have Mars in Pisces, Mars in Jupiter sign, uh, uh, Jupiter in Aries or Jupiter, Mars, okay? Uh, all of these things. And um, and what is the point? Okay, what is going on? For right now, you might feel physically in your feet. So maybe try to attempt to get at your feet through temperature or through trying to make you trip over, trying to make you slip, okay, for stepping on something smooth or to slip over or to trip over, okay? You or somebody, somebody tries to do this to somebody, Okay? And um, what they try to do is to uh, uh, basically or to break your spine or something like that. Uh, and they try to make you fall. Why? Because you are rising now. And, and why, do they, why they don't like it that you are rising? Because what your rising has to do, you are connecting with your roots. Especially right now, it's Saturday where I am, it's Saturn day. So people connect with their ancestors um uh, perhaps more than daily uh, and people uh, are getting messages from the answers and somebody wants you to not connect with your roots why because then you go into your body yes and then you resolve traumas whether it's even uh, even things that happen in the long long lineage okay think about zeus that rules Pisces. he did what incest so think about the lineages of the religions where incest was happening um okay and maybe you or your family went, went out of that so when you connect with your roots and you heal those things um then right now you have deeper connection to the truth and to your present sexual energy it can also be that you did for something for people that uh, uh you connected them with their roots okay maybe you told them about the feed uh, and maybe some of these people were in secret societies Okay, and so let's say you, you speak with someone, you could be even reflexologist or even not trained person, just a spiritual reader, and you may have gone through certain work with your own feet, connected with your own feet, and then you spoke with somebody, and 
uh, they began to immediately gain transformation. They connected with their feet, stopped feeling ashamed for being sexual, um, brought the energy, okay, because it aligns from the crown to the feet, uh, brought a, a, a shining, and now they're making problems because of the secret societies that they are in, that they don't want this to be. And now that they try to control for you, okay, whether to recruit you or to control for you, because either you control the position or you recruit it, but they don't want you to do this kind of practice outside of dogmatic religion. Okay, feet in all religions, Hinduism, Christianity, um, feet have deep, deep wisdom, connecting the feet, stepping barefoot on the soil. And it can be that you yourself have gotten messages from the feet, the feet, the feet. And maybe when you try to connect to your roots, you already saw the world wars. Or you already saw conflict. You already saw many, many things. Uh, and you're like, oh, I'm getting various messages. Oh, get to your roots, get to your roots. But when I get to my roots, then suddenly it starts to shake people. It starts to uh, create upheaval in people's lives. Because now... What it means for you to connect to your roots, you're bringing something in. So first of all, you need your own soil, uh, you need your own housing, okay? And it can be that even the very same people that told you, come on, get back to your roots, do that, do that, do that. When you start doing that, um, uh, uh, they, it can be that uh, for some reason they uh, conflicted or they try to stop it because you do it in your way, you don't do it in their way. Everybody does it in their way. Okay, everybody, we all have something unique to bring to the world. Uh, and so, um, what they're trying to do is to get you to trip you over. Okay, so to trip you over, it can be in your life path, the, the, the steps you're making. So it can be in love, okay, so, so that you will be tripping over someone, okay, for you, and then what it means for your heart to be broken, or feel betrayed, or this or that, so that you will be tripping over someone, it backfires, it backfires, why they try to do so, to hold you back from revealing all the secrets, all the teachings, all the healing um, that you bring, but it's also, is whistleblowing, it's also, uh, Pisces is leaking of information, Okay, and they try to make you step on something smooth, to slip over, to break your spine. So you will not be aligned like a tree. Jupiter rules tree, Saturn rules agriculture. So you will not stand, so you will not, if you are a man, so you will not stand erect, so that you will not be able to have erection outside of the cult. Uh, and I repeat this, for example, I was talking, watching YouTube and uh, uh, soldiers in, in American army, um, they were fed food that caused, aside of the stress, the food caused uh, lack of hardon, lack of erection. Uh, and then, uh, uh, in these cases, only when they're given certain drugs, but when they're given the drugs, it's, they give the drugs for to rape. They didn't say this, yes, but they connect the dots. Uh, they say the first part, and they try to say, what, how do I make it erect again? I cannot self-pleasure, I cannot this. Uh, this basically is how they do, they try to not even have a person to have orgasm outside the cult. Okay? And um, and you could be, for example, a man who's dealing with this, who's escaped, maybe you're a whistleblower, maybe you escaped this place, or maybe you escaped the uh, combat unit or something like that, and you stop e eating their food and you connect with your feet. Now you start having sexual lives. They want you to trip over. Okay, they don't want you to have your sexuality, your penis, I'm sorry, erect, uh, in a way that is actually nourishing for you. That's actually contributing to fertility, because then they cannot control you. They cannot control your penis. Okay, they cannot control your energy. But they try to get it through the feet, because if they cannot get it, the sex chakra, you heal that, now they try to get through the feet. And then it can be a temperature, okay, to, to try and uh, uh, follow your feet or to try through temperature to move you this direction that direction so you would think it is channeling but again when channeling opening up for you uh, it it is um, an energy that is benefic and when somebody tries it doesn't matter how much what they try to mask around was not benevolent you're going to feel controlled. You're not going to feel open. When you connect to your roots, you connect to your feet. Now you've got your whole army of ancestries 
paying attention. It's like, no, we're going to block this, this person out. And then you block this person out. And this is what's happening to you right now. Okay? It's collective reading for Pisces, Neptune, Pisces. But it's for all of you that have, we all have Neptune in Pisces somewhere in our chart. Um, and so, but they, the steps that you are making right now, they are good steps because um, you see, it can be that you begin to listen to your body and to the bodily signs. Okay, but then they try to psychically attack you through the body. Why? Because you begin to make the right steps in life, but then you begin to expose certain things that they didn't want. They want you to stay in your place. Okay, I had a aromatherapy teacher for second course, and she was a great teacher, fantastic teacher, but she wanted to remove my defenses, uh, and uh, she wanted me to stay in my place. But on the other hand, when somebody would do something bad with the energy, she would immediately pay attention, okay? So it can be even an unconscious thing, because they are channeling, they get into a bit of a trance mode, but they could be channeling not exactly correct. So without blaming anyone, uh, right now, you get into wisdom, and the feet is so important, because with the feet is connecting you to the crown, and to, uh, if you are atheist, then it would be whatever you defines the equivalent of Christ consciousness. What's Christ consciousness is basically you're not blaming, you're not shaming, you're not angry, you're not uh, disarrayed, you are just observing, understanding, you get this and you do what you know that you need to do about this. Okay, so it, uh, it's the equivalent of being in a, in a loving state towards yourself and centered so they don't get to move you around. And so if in the beginning you begin to connect with your body and you paid attention to temperature, to, to where to move, to this, to that, but then it became controlling, it became overbearing. So now you don't do this and you already have, you understand that even, even without all these omens, you know what to do. You have the inner knowing of what to do and what your steps. And then when they try to trip you over, and then they will try to use the things. It's like, oh, look, the temperature, the this, the that, and then they get angry. Who is the day? It could be people from secret societies. It could be many things, okay? But whatever it is, it's not something that aligns you with your path. Because when something aligns you with your path, is loving. Okay? It's not angry at you. It's not impatient with you. It's not shoving you. It's not trying to make you trip, trying to make you fall over. No. It's doing absolutely none of that. Okay? It's ushering you, yes, in a loving way. Yes, and that's important. And, um, and this is uh, very, very, very important. Okay? It's not uh, like treating you uh, good and then bad and then good. No, none of this trauma bonding. Because when you connect to your roots, you connect to your feet, you tend to these things. And now you're whistle blowing. Because in order to stay in your body, you have to get purge all the trauma out. And so you receive information because in order to stay loving to yourself, okay, it's not from anger or from this or even from vengeance, but for, to make the change underneath the vengeance, there is a change to make. Then you make this change. Now you're telling the truths that provoke the core chakras of everybody around you. And when you get to these core truths, then it can unnerve even the people in the beginning told you, come on, connect with your feet, come on, connect with your roots, get connected with your roots, get connected with your feet, okay? And when you do that, they poof, 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 something interferes. And it doesn't mean that even they interfere, it can be that something interferes in their fabric. Why? Because they try to help you to speak up, Okay? So I want you to think, what is this uh, temperature around your feet, around this, around that? We want to terrify you or to make you uh, step in another place or something like that. Again, they're not useful because you will be receiving the information that you need to be receiving. And then the path, you clear your path out. So it's not happening from scaring you for fear, for shock, for not, none of that. Not a survey. 
okay for channeling that is what you're uh, going through right now um and then for they try to trip you over it can be also over someone but it can also be regarding the law okay law very strongly because what happens when a person gets connected with the roots and they want to build wealth and information come to them okay if you give and you share and you make place for make energy something new comes back in if you recycle you get great wealth people think you are israeli why don't you love your country why you speak all that rubbish about you you are dutch why don't you love it i wanted the best body no because they have pluto in the night i tend to these things and then you know what happens i feel deeper deeper connection with the roots i will see all the good things about my both my countries because i tended to the taboo i tended to what they don't speak so now i have genuine wealth is to do with my countries with my roots and that's what they don't want you to do because at some place neptune's right now sextiling uh, pluto you need to be whistleblowing you need to be telling truth now it's 2024 just like 2017 2024 everything comes out and you for you to stay in your body then you have to speak up and but not speak up to dear diary you have to speak up maybe psychic broadcast uh, find a way a means of expression that reaches the masses because these are outer planets that reach the masses and so if they don't want you to do this then they want you to trip over the law because what they if they cannot send you to the crazy house and for what i best crazy house is open dialogue house enforced open dialogue housing first or say with two they try to or offer they try to mess with your expression so you'll be intelligible so people will not get even the words that you speak it won't help them because you would they would get the energy and then they get really mad they're really mad because they cannot send you to the psychic world because if you are crazy what is the solution ha the solution housing first yes they don't want you to see this message for schizophrenia housing first soil under your feet independent of your ability to work and to be validated seen with no pills willing consent that's the solution for schizophrenia scientifically proven they will try to mess with the science or try to make you not see the science worked in finland then they try to import it but with, without housing first it's not working as well uh, and uh, because you have to have housing first independent of your ability to work forever as in finland then you see you believe then what happens usually people what they had maybe incest but they had maybe a sexual abuse of childhood maybe something secretive a, a corruption abuse okay kidnapped uh, at hospital or something like that then with their seen their beliefs now instead of protruding thoughts you're in good environment for you and then you have a uh, channeling you have uh, something things opening up for you but when you step to this direction you go through for this direction they want you to trip over so if they can't send you to the psychic world they want to send you to jail okay for this or that so they want you to trip over the law yes but remember what happens with an, with the supreme court system the judges they have to perform rape and murder on children on tape only then they get to be supreme court because they are all maneuvered and then they when they have this on tape they will do a stove so if you need to send somebody that's not guilty for murder on murder then you can do this okay but then they, they don't want you uh, and who uh, uh, the people when they're looking for they say no but this person i see maybe they did other bad stuff but i see they did not commit this murder or maybe supreme court judge committed it but you cannot investigate in this structural and they will try to get you to trip over for with the law so that you will vouch for this judge okay 
And so if they cannot get you to trip over a loved one and just not have your heart, not have your sexual energy, not have your uh, life and joy of living in place, then they try to tr make you trip over with your words uh, so that people, you will be uh, unintelligible, so that people will not get you, so that people will think you are imagining. Then you speak with clarity, clarity like Moses given the prophecy after he ate the freaking coil. The coal, okay, Moses and the coal for the story. Then you, you give the freaking prophecy. You speak clearly. Then they try to make you trip over with the law. It doesn't work. You expose corruption in the court system now. So first you understand that schizophrenia, the most difficult mental ailment ever existed, is solved by having a house and believed, being believed. A court system, trip over the law, do this, do that, do that, do that, do that. Well, for the Supreme Court judge, they have to rape and murder children on tape to stay Supreme Court judge because they are told to put this person for murder, not this person, this person, not this person. And now you know for these people and you expose that. So they can't, or you declare conflict of interest with those funds. And WHO and WEF and the Vatican, what to do with you? Because there are no judges. There are no judges that can judge you because you're in conflict of interest with the Supreme Court system, structurally. They can't judge you legally. So they're trying to get you to trip over physically. So you would need their doctors. And that's where they try to get you psychic attacks. So if you're watching this, this happened to you. Okay, uh, or somebody that you know, okay, is going through this, and this is basically of uh, for you. You're already on the right step. You're already making the right steps. Yeah, this is just more validation. You are on the right steps. You're watching this. You know this. I want you to identify the process. Think about the health system. Think about, yes, the juristic system. Now think about the physical health system. It's through psychic attack. They try to, to physically make you trip over. And I want to say to you, people are not to blame for their ailments. So you see people, uh, if they are on wheelchair or people, they are uh, in a coma or whatnot. It's the not to blame for the ailments. Okay. And you know, sometimes for certain things that happen to us and then they move us to a certain direction. Yes, but they try to cause you ailment artificially to change your life direction. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Okay. Well, sometimes there are certain things that you experience in life. And they make you, for example, when I was working for a credit card company, my throat was sore and I was taking anti-allergy pills and I was going to the bathroom every 30 seconds. And then I had a colleague and she said to me, you know, when your throat like this, you have something that you want to say. And I didn't know what she's talking about. So you have things to say, but because you don't express yourself, your throat sores, the throat chakra. And I began writing. I also went to a uh, uh, holistic healer. And she didn't know anything about me, that I'm a writer and so on. She said, you must to create, you must uh, write something, create something. You must do something like this. Because I was waking up angry in the morning, okay? You see, for that was fated. It was fated for me to get to know about this type of medicine. Because I was taking anti-allergy pills, not working and sick every day. And even my boss, he saw I'm not lying. He saw I'm all the time sick, all the time going to this. He saw something going with me, not okay. I'm not in the right place for me. He saw this, okay? So it was, that was fated. But when you are walking to your step and then people try to push, to shove you away. And when you are getting that even the people where they are leaders, where they are uh, singers, where they are uh, visible public figures, that they also get this. You're not alone with this. 
they also get this. They get kidnapped and they get psychically attacked, they get physically attacked, uh, so that they will do what they do. But you come to change that. And you see, you get all the support on your way. So understand, for, for the forces that don't want you to get connected, want you to trip over, whether on the law, or uh, psychically, or physically, yes, if it's not meant for you, it's, you, will, you will not trip over, it's not, it's not serving anything, you already know, you already understand that you are in the right path. You already understand, and they try to take over 